In my last bag construction video, I had some questions about the iron I was using. So I'm going to talk about this iron and what I like or don't like about it. I bought this iron. This is not a sponsored video. Up until this iron, I had been using, uh, I guess what you'd call residential style, the kind where you pour water in right here. And those just would last about a year and then I'd have to buy a new one. So I decided to spend a little more money and get one of these gravity feed systems. This one is the Silver Star ES300. It's pretty heavy, which is nice when you're ironing. Comes with the silicone mat. It also comes with this thing. It's very simple to operate. This is your temperature dial here. It's got an on off switch that's lighted. When the iron reaches temperature, that light will shut off. So this iron is a gravity feed system. It has the water bottle. Then here there's a switch and this activates the solenoid which is back here. So that solenoid is just a valve that opens and closes to allow water to get inside the iron to produce steam. This is a very simple setup. If this switch goes bad, it's easy to replace. Just remove a screw. When the solenoid goes bad, it's easy to replace. You just unscrew it and put a new one on. So the nice thing about an iron like this is you can rebuild the components that typically go bad on an iron. This iron gets a lot hotter. This thing makes lots of steam. This iron is simple to use. So you just turn it on, you set your temperature, two steps. And if you're not changing, it's only one. With my old one, I had one button that you had to cycle through every temperature setting to get there. So you would have to spam the button six times to get to the cotton setting. And then if you accidentally pushed it seven times, well, you had to spam through again until you got back around to it. And every time it shut off automatically, you had to do that process again. This one's a lot easier. On, off. Because of the big water bottle, you don't have to fill this up every time you use it. All right, so let's see how long it takes it to get up to temperature. I'm setting it on high. Set that to the minute, and when the second reaches 12, You do kind of have to pick a spot where it's going to reside. So you kind of need to commit to an area where you can plug it in and have a water bottle. Now having all this cable is not necessarily handy. Also having to permanently mount the water bottle uh, is a little bit of a drawback. So if you need portability, that's not here. Another thing you need to consider is the cord in the tube. So I made a strap to suspend it, but if you don't, this tube tends to kind of get in the way um, and, and lay around while you're um, ironing. Uh, so that can be a problem, uh, the, the, the cord and tube management. Now any iron has a cord with it, but the addition of the tube uh, does complicate it a bit. In order to help me manage the cord in the in the water tube, I just built the strap, suspended it from the ceiling, and uh, my tube just snaps in there. And that's nice. It keeps the keeps this suspended up above the iron while I work. Makes it a lot handier. So now with my tube suspended from the ceiling like this. It's up out of my way and it's a lot easier to handle. So I would recommend kind of devising something like that and since this is going to be in one area you can do that type of thing. Again, if portability is what you need then this is probably not going to work so well for you. But if you have an ironing station you can hang the bottle and you can 
manage your cord and your tube, then this is a pretty good way to go. It's not that expensive. Uh, parts are rebuildable, lots of steam, easy to operate with switches and dials, just being analog, straightforward and clear cut. So I've only used this iron for a few months. So I've tried to talk about what this iron is and is not. I haven't used all ironing systems. I'm certainly no expert, but I have used this iron. When I'm working with heavy canvas, Having a dedicated ironing station and this iron has been very handy. If you're in a situation where you can get set up like that, I'd recommend it. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and hit the bell if you want to be notified anytime I put out a new video. Thank you very much.